Hey, it's Tom from Stretch Mind Works. In this week's video, we're gonna make the first step of our GPS mounts, which is lathe work, making these uh, for the clamps. All right, we're definitely on some shaking cabin today. Sorry about that, folks, but I'm doing my best here. Uh, today, we're gonna be working on the watch on. So let's flip this thing around. We're gonna be working on this guy. And uh, it's got everything set up. Actually, that part that I just showed is the um, uh, up or sorry, it's the inspection part. It's our first article, checked it out, and uh, everything is good, so let's just walk you through it. Start with a piece of stock. Come into our three jaw chuck. We've bored these, uh, um, sorry, we bored the jaws on the three jaw chuck to hold that. Uh, it's three inch stock, it's cut approximately two and seven eighths inches long. So, I don't know how well this is going to record. We'll close it. The problem that we have is that there's a lot of coolant and the coolant goes crazy here. But uh, just so you know, I've got rapid set all the way down at 25%. Um, we'll come in, we'll face chamfer, drill, uh, and do a finish bore and chamfer. Um, but we, we actually use that, uh, that same, actually, let me just come in here real quick and show you. So what we do is when we do the drill and, and uh, boring, we're, we're using this insert drill. And so uh, two different uh, tool offsets, but basically we do our regular drill and then we come in and just kiss, or we, uh, yeah, I can speak English today. We do the boring operation with that one insert. So, okay, let's try this out. You're gonna ride this one out with me. Let's try it. Here we go, folks. And it's like start now. Like I said, there's a lot of coolant. So face it. You just get a uh, chamfer there. Now we're coming for a drill. We'll just to give you an idea. Yeah, she's singing a bit right now. I think that uh, insert's getting a little worn. So you can see we're 1500 RPM, about 5.3 inches a minute. It's an inch and a half uh, insert drill, by the way. So you can kind of see, I don't know how well you can see it, but you can kind of see the uh, chips just flying off of this thing. So now it's going to use the same insert and it's going to finish the bore. All right, that's it for op one. But what we did is, since all this stuff is set up nice, sorry about the uh, coolant, we just Flip it. So basically, what we have in there is an M0 call that says, hey, flip this guy around and let's finish the work. So if you look here, M0, flip part, right? Come on in, cycle start. And let's finish this off. So this time around, it takes a couple of passes to take up the, uh, the rest of the stock. So we're not exactly centered in the stock when we do this. We take about 20 thou on the, uh, or about 20 thou per pass. Then we've got our cleanup pass here. Do our chamfer. And then it's gonna back up. It's gonna switch back to that drill because it's gonna do that little chamfer on the uh, bore. And that's it, we are done. So this is the prep work for these clamps. Let me uh, we'll pull this one out and then we'll take a, a closer look. All right, so this is the part that we just pulled out of the machine. And as you can see, we've got great, great surface finish here. Um, you look in that bore, we're getting really nice surface finish in the bore. And this is uh, 1018 cold rolled, so nothing fancy. We don't do anything on that outer uh, 
uh, diameter for this one. We want two and seven, roughly two and seven fifty. We're about nine thou under on this one, which I'll be honest, this is a plus or minus 20 on this uh, uh, length. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not inclined to mess with it. I just kind of took a, I took a stab at where uh, the Z zero would be, and I was nine thou under, so I'll take it. Um, the important part is that they're all the same because we use a jig on this when we when we cut everything and weld everything. So I'm not worried about that. Everything looks good. Uh, yeah. So one of the thing that I thought would be kind of fun to see. Let me grab something. I'll be right. Actually, we'll just let's walk over there. So our chip bin, that drill, right? Well, here we go. Yeah. So these are the chips coming off that drill. I'd say they're all right. And then you always get a fun one. So yeah, back at it. All right, just thought I'd give you a quick uh, peek. I gotta get back at this. Um, I got a bunch of work to do. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing and sticking with me. Somehow we're almost at 5,000 uh, subscribers. So I appreciate you coming along for the ride and I'll see you again real soon.